Hey, this is Imtar here from TCM Gaming. We want a product review for all of you as we take a look at the CM Storm Quick Fire Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. But before we take a look at the keyboard itself, let's take a quick look at what you get in the box when you buy the keyboard. First off, you get this nice little quick start guide that will show you how to use all of your function, media, and LED backlight controls situated at the top of the keyboard. In addition to that, you get this very useful little tool that will help you pop out your keys, for example, when you want to clean your keyboard or you simply want to change the keys. The last part in the box that you get is the removable braided USB cable that, just like the keyboard itself, is very well made and looks and feels very sturdy. As we have now taken a look at everything you get in the box, let's take a look at the main part of the review, the keyboard itself. Now that we have taken a look at what you get in the box when you buy the keyboard, let's take a look at the keyboard itself. The Quickfire Pro is the bigger version of the Quickfire Rapid, with the Pro having the numpad on the right side. This certain edition of the Quickfire Pro comes with red, cherry and MX switches. In addition to that, you can also get the switches in either black, brown or blue. As you can see, we have now plugged in the keyboard, so let's take a look at some of the functions. By turning on the FN key, which is situated here, we can start using the different mode buttons on the keyboard. The F1 to F4 keys are used as your LED backlight controls, with the F1 key turning the mode on. The first mode is the gaming cluster mode, where you have the WASD and arrow keys lit up. With the F2 and F3 keys, you can control the brightness of the backlight. The F4 key lets you change between different LED backlight modes. This keyboard has a total of three different modes. The first one is the gaming cluster one. Then you have the extended gaming cluster one, which has a few more keys lit up. The final mode is the extended gaming cluster breathing mode, which basically is the same as the second mode, but the keys are pulsing. The F5 to F8 keys are used as your media control keys. You have the play, stop, rewind and forward buttons. The F9 to F11 keys are your volume control keys. You can mute, turn your volume down, turn your volume up. With the F12 key, you will be able to lock your Windows keys, which means no more minimizing your game by accident. The four buttons situated at the top of the numpad will let you change the polling rate of your keyboard. This concludes the video part of the review we will be publishing a more extensive written review which you can find on our website at tcm-gaming.net